Hey everybody, I'm David, and welcome to what I hope becomes a mailbag Thursday. Unless you're not watching it on Thursday. You might be watching it sometime this weekend. In which case, I apologize for not putting it out on Thursday. Yep. So, this week we got a couple things in the mail, which I'm really excited about. Um, there's a... I got like four things this week. So, I will... I'm actually going to start with this, because this is, there's a, there's a hat in there, and it's from the UK, and international stuff is really, really cool. It's from Becca, and you can see she included an ocarina that I'm not sure if you can see or not. Yes, there you go, you can see it. So Becca has sent this from Northamptonshire, and... Oh my god, she sent me a Link cap. This is Legend of Zelda Ocarina 3D. I am in shock, actually. <laughs> uh, wow, that is really, really awesome. I finally have a Link cap. Wow, she sent me the Super Mario 3D uh, 3DS case, looks like. That is so awesome. I don't have a 3DS, but I'm sure I'll find another use for it. And there's a letter. Hi David, smiley face. I stumbled upon your send me your stuff videos, and I had this Zelda hat, and I thought you would like it. It's your second favorite Zelda game hat. I've only just recently became a fan of your videos, but they make me very happy to hear them all the time. So I listen to them a lot. My boyfriend just bought me my first ocarina, and I'm still waiting for it in the pat in the post. So I hope it sounds nice. It looks like this. <laughs> she drew an ocarina. Oh, there it is right there. I have some questions for you that I think others would like to know too. One, what does a wooden ocarina sound like? I will play one for you in a second. Do you find that certain materials used for ocarinas make better sounds? Uh, clay slash ceramic or wood or plastic? From looking around, it doesn't seem like there's much knowledge for the ocarina in the UK, but I could be wrong, as I couldn't find any shops to sell many at all. So I really hope nothing gets in your way of your videos. Thanks for inspiring me to learn ocarina. Love, Becca. Smiley face. P.S. Your Zelda hat is special because I got it from work. I work at a game shop called Game Station. And these hats were only for staff members, especially from Nintendo. And I found this 3DS, 3DS Mario case. You mentioned Link's Awakening on 3DS, so I thought you might have a 3DS for it. But if not, use it for one of your next competitions. Very cool. Well, Becca, I'm going to be wearing your hat as I answer the, your two questions, so uh, I'll probably just wear the hat throughout the video. Wooden ocarinas are fantastic because not only um, are there very few makers around the world, but the, the few that there are usually do an incredible job at the craftsmanship because it's, it's not as easy as uh, doing clay ocarinas. There takes a lot of precision and, um, and good craftsmanship. So the two wooden ocarina makers that I would highly recommend are um, Charlie Hind, uh, or Hind Ocarinas, and then um, North Country Workshop, also uh, available at um, doubleocarina.net or doubleocarina.com. I'll put links in the description. So here I have two of Charlie Hines' ocarinas, which are fantastic. These are his inline ocarinas, and uh, this is the tenor in F, I believe, and this is uh, one of his sweet potatoes, which is an alto C. I'll just play it for you really quick. Uh, I've actually done a review on this ocarina, and uh, you can find it on my Doctor's 4 page. This is um, his tenor F, which I've also done a review on. And finally, I have the North Country Workshop. do a review on this one pretty soon because this is um, one of the few Harmony Ocarinas that I own and it is amazing. They're, these are the ones that are used by Nancy Rumble 
who is a, a Grammy-winning ocarina player. So that's what wooden ocarinas sound like. Um, it really depends on the shape of the um, of the sound hole or the window. Um, there's a couple other names for them. Are formed or are shaped, um, which kind of ties in with your second question, which is, um, do you find that certain materials used for ocarinas make better sounds? There has been a couple heated debates about this between ocarina makers around the world, and um, some people say yes, it does have an effect, and some people say no. And um, I've ac I've actually talked about this before, and I'll place a link in, uh, to that discussion, which is a vocal discussion, in the description below. And um, I think the short answer is no, it does not have a major effect, but um, I guess you'll have to dive further into acoustics to understand why. But I'm also going to send you a free copy of my book, The Ocarina Guide, which is a downloadable ebook um, that has a lot of information about ocarinas. And since you just got started, I think it would be very helpful to you, but that's the least I can do for sending all these awesome gifts. So thank you, Becca. Next up, we have a small package from Brendan from Spring Springfield, Oregon, where I believe the Simpsons are from. All right, let's see here. Well, that feels weird. What the? All right, so we got a letter. We have a... <laughs> There's some Pokemon, and Pikachu is holding a Pendant Ocarina. Which is awesome. And then there's these little rocks or something in here. I'm not sure I want to know what these are. This is... Kind of weird. Hi, my name is Brendan. I'm 10 years old. Thank you for inspiring me to get an ocarina. The Pokemon badge badges are from the Pokemon League, which I stopped doing two years ago. Whoa. I saw your videos with the Pokemon cards, a leaf, a flower, and thought since I have sold all my Pokemon cards, you might like the badges instead. They are the Sinoa badges and Energy bad badges. Hope you like them. Me and my dad made a Pikachu playing an ocarina. Thank you again, Brendan. And you can see he drew a little Link playing a sweet potato ocarina. Brendan, thank you so much. I'm going to... I'm no longer afraid to open up these. Oh, dude, they're actual badges. All right, so first of all, let me say how blown away I am. I just opened up all the badges, and I have, uh, let me go through each one of them, because <laughs> there's a lot. With the fire energy, grass energy, and water energy. Then we have all these cities. Like, you travel around a lot. Okay, I'm gonna try to pronounce these names here. We have Eterna City, Herthome City, Pastoria City, Canalave Canal City, Orber City, Snow Point City, Sunny Shore City, and Veilstone City. So what I think I'm going to do with these is, as you can see, I always have these badges here. Can you see that? Yeah, on this lamp. And I'm probably going to put these on a, um, one of those neck things and just have them there, I guess. And then if I go to a con or something, I will probably display these <laughs> around my neck. So Brendan, you are awesome. Thank you for the Pokemon card. And, uh and all these badges that you probably worked pretty hard for. So, thank you, sir. All right, so now we have our two letters. So let me get to these really quick. The first one comes from Raul in Chicago, Illinois. Illinois, I keep saying that. Raul drew me lots of pictures. We have, um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to see that with this. In the all right, so first we have, um, that was my iPad. Triforce, um, Mr. Turtleberg with a monocle and a his mustache and a top hat. Can you see that? <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, we have ooh, 
he drew a Zelda song, which I'm going to attempt to play on Ocarina. Right here. Wait. E, F. Oh, is it C? I think that's what you try to put. Some wavy lines with the treble clef, uh, another song, and then you put song of double time. Okay, that I get. You drew a deer with David written inside of it. Dear David. Zing. I've been watching your videos for some time now. I got a copy of Majora's Mask a while back, and as I played, I started to really get into Song of Time. I YouTubed it, and I saw your video pop up first. I liked it, and looked into your channel. When I watched your videos, I was amazed at the quality of which you played. I eventually subscribed to all three channels, and watched most of your videos. Great job at San Japan. I'm soon, thanks to you, buying my first Oc, but besides Ocarina's, how's it going? What have you been up to? Everyone's... Everyone asks... Hey Dave, can you help me with this and that about Ocarina's? But no one really asks, how are you doing? Well, how are you doing? How's school? I never really wrote a letter before, but I have respect for a man who can play on an instrument so well, put so much into the awareness of it, and still balance their lives too. How has your album, how's your album coming along? Now on the subject of Ocarina's, I only have a few many requests. Could you review the mini Zelda 12-fold from STL Ox, and could you play Teen Spirit? I don't really have much else to say, other than I really enjoy Mr. Turtleberg, and you're definitely important to Ocarina Awareness. Sincerely, Raul M. P.S. Are you a member of Operation Moonfall? Uh, first of all, Raul, thank you so much for your letter, and um, I really appreciate you asking how I'm doing. And I'm doing pretty good. I'm, I'm steadily working on the album. Uh, I have a few people that I'm talking to to help me out with it, and I'm still really hoping to have it out by May 25th. Um, which I'm really, really excited about. I'm just finishing up the arrangements for my songs right now, and I'm hoping to start recording within the next two weeks. I am a member of Operation Moonfall. I really do support Majora's Mask coming to the 3DS, even though I don't have 3DS yet, but I would still love to see it uh, come come to pass. As for your questions, uh, I don't actually have the mini Zelda 12 hole anymore. I used to have it, but I sold it. Uh, but I do still have the Purple Clay Mini, which is the exact same range and just about the exact same sound. Only I think this, the Purple Clay Mini has a little bit better tone to it. It's not, it's not, it doesn't shriek as badly. I've never tried to play Teen Spirit before. So, uh, I think a Nirvana song on Ocarina would definitely be interesting. You know what, I take that back. I have played that song, but just for friends. I might give it a shot. And finally, our last letter comes from... Davis out of Providence, Rhode Island. Alright, so, uh, we have Dear David, I can't thank you enough for all the things you do for the whole ocarina community. I especially thank you for introducing me into the beautiful instrument we play, the ocarina. Before I was introduced into ocarinas, I was going through a hard time because my closest friend moved away. However, thanks to you, I have found a way to get my mind off, off the world and just enjoy my music. Watching your videos makes the hairs on, on my arm stand up. And after about half a year of playing, I feel that this is something I love and want to stick to, and this is all because of you. However, living in Rhode Island is tough because it's hard to find somebody who shares a passion, as it is anywhere. I would love it if when you are out here in Rhode Island, we can meet up and maybe learn a thing or two from each other. Again, thank you so much for introducing me into the whole new world, Akon, from the smallest state, Davis. <laughs> And he also included a couple drawings on there. I don't know how well you can see that. But um, there is a Triforce with Zelda, an inline, a sweet potato, and a pendant underneath there. Pretty cool. Um, we have uh, Ocarina Guild that's actually starting up in Rhode Island. So I will uh, get in touch with you and see if we can get you two together, and then maybe you guys can get find a couple more people. So if anybody's watching this who's in Rhode Island, uh, shoot me a message on this channel, and I will get you in touch with both uh, Davis and my other friends who are in Rhode Island. I dropped a pin. 
Guys, I'm feeling kind of overwhelmed by this. Like, I was trying hard not to cry when I was opening up the badges, because I was like, wow, you, not only did you, like, uh, take your time to uh, send me all the badges, but then you wrapped them up and just thinking about um, the hat and how it's kind of rare. Just, uh, in the, the fact that you guys take time to write letters to and cards, I think, is, is the biggest treat for me. Guys, thanks so much. Um, I really look forward to seeing uh, more letters, which I actually started a scrapbook. So these letters are going in there to show my my children one day. Look, kids, this is this is what random people sent your daddy in the mail. So uh, I'll leave my address in the description below if you guys want to send anything else. And um, yeah, hopefully I'll have another video up by next Thursday. Even if it's, uh, if I don't get anything in the mail, I'll probably answer some messages or emails or something. So I hope you guys have a good week and, um, and a good weekend. And I will see you guys in the next video. So, talk to you guys later.